there's something about this phenomenon of embodiment, of being in a body, uh, of coming from the earth. and of having our heads in the heavens. Serving God and, and taking care of our physical being and being a part of the natural world are all part of one fabric. We've been eating this all winter long. It's so abundant through the winter. It's better than buying, you know, spinach in the store or kale, all those things. A lot of Israelis know this during the siege of Jerusalem in 1948. They gathered this to eat. But we can eat it every day in good times. This Jewish life that we're living and that we're trying to embrace more and more, it's right there in the sitter. The exile of the Jewish spirit was not just the exile of the Jewish people from our homeland, it was the exile of the Jewish body from the Jewish soul. And for me, that's, you know, that's part of our return to this land, is not just a return to the, to, the, to the land, it's a return to physicality. It's a return to embodiment as the, really the deepest mode of spiritual connection. To me, that's a very much a, a part of what this, this uh, adventure of living in Israel is about. My first experience about Ayan, the cab dropped us off and I went to Davin Marif and I just felt the, uh, you know, the depth of the tefillot here that was so special. Everyone was singing and dancing you know, around the circle. <laughs> I, I'd never seen this before. <laughs> And I say, wow, this, this feels like home to me. This feels like home. And then we, on the, over the course of the week that we spent here, we just made lots of friends and, and, um, and decided this was it. So we got back to Chicago and put our house in the market. We just said, we're committed, we're doing it. Here we go. Ready or not. <laughs> most special things to Barayan. One element is the, is the prayer element here, the depth of prayer that, that you experience here. It's not a, a seriousness that's like a heavy seriousness. It's like an awareness of just the impact that prayers has. And then the second element is the depth of Torah learning here. You know, there's a Jew learning Torah is, is, is meant to be a part and partial of our, of our daily life and part of our lifeblood. But then there's something going on beyond that. There's a very special Jewish narrative that's unfolding, that I'm living. There's a bigger purpose to it. And I may not get the whole picture of this, of why I'm having to go through what I'm going through right now, but there is a bigger context to it. What I'm doing here is I'm bringing the world to life. I'm dedicated to that. Not because it's not, I'm just having a good time doing this, but I'm dedicated to this because I feel like I'm doing this not just on behalf of myself and my family, I'm doing this on behalf of all the Jewish people and all the, all the, all the people in the world. <laughs> 